Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to talk about how to disable your ABS system. To disable the ABS or analog brake system is not difficult. What you need to do is first find where the ABS fuse is and then simply remove it. Your system will be disabled. This particular Volvo, the 50 amp number 4 position fuse is for ABS. So I'm going to remove that fuse. Once I've removed the ABS fuse, I can work on the ABS system or the hydraulic brake system. If I leave the fuse intact and the accumulator releases or the pump comes on, I may be dealing with a lot of brake pressure that I don't want to deal with. Another reason I would remove the ABS fuse or disable the system is if my ABS pump was making a tremendous amount of noise. Um, sometimes this happens when the pump fails. If you hear your ABS pump making a, a lot of noise, it's failing, you can shut it off by removing the fuse. Your brakes will still work normally, but you won't have the feature of analog brakes. Another reason we'd remove the analog brake fuse is if you had early ABS activation. Let's say, for example, you're, you were coming to a stop with your vehicle, and your computer perceived your wheels to stop turning when in actuality they weren't your brakes would be minimized and your car would continue to go and it would be a sinking feeling as the ABS would activate for no apparent reason. If you get that feeling, you could deactivate your ABS by pulling the fuse and your car's brakes would act normally. And those are a couple of reasons why you would disable the ABS system. To enable the system, you would simply reinstall the fuse. And that's how to disable and enable your ABS system. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.